case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2006 Supreme Court case of Georgia v. Randolph, the validity of a warrantless search was the issue at hand, particularly when one occupant consented to the search, but the other, with shared authority, blatantly refused. The refusal came from Scott Randolph, amid a contentious situation with his wife, Janet. The police had become involved following a domestic disagreement that led Janet to claim that Scott was a cocaine user and had removed their son from the home. Scott refuted Janet's allegations when he reappeared at the house, stating that their son was safely ensconced with neighbors due to the escalating domestic dispute. Despite Scott's assurances, Janet informed the law enforcement officials that drug-related evidence could be found within their home and she consented to its search. However, when the police sought to validate the search with Scott, he expressly denied them permission. This refusal led to a legal entanglement that centered on the violation of the Fourth Amendment's protection of privacy in one's home. The court ultimately ruled in Scott's favor. His refusal took precedence, rendering the search unreasonable and invalid as far as he was concerned. They further delineated that while one co-occupant's consent is noteworthy, it does not supersede the explicit refusal of a present and objecting co-occupant. Drawing a line from this case to the Supreme Court's decision in Matlock, the consent of one party with shared authority does not derail the objections raised by a non-consenting yet absent authority-sharing individual. By extension, they upheld the decision from the state Supreme Court, confirming that an invitation from a co-tenant does not empower the police to override a fellow co-tenant's objection to a search. Consequently, without justification, disregard for a resident's objection to a search of private premises cannot be universally valued above the pursuit of evidence. This illuminating case served to clarify the limits of common authority in shared dwellings and underscored the importance of physically present individuals in decision-making processes involving consent. They expressly noted that should an objecting party be present but excluded from the discussion, their right to object is consequently compromised. In this instance, Scott Randolph's refusal was explicit, and the search lacked due justification, despite Janet Randolph's consent. Thus, the Supreme Court of Georgia's judgment was upheld, solidifying the interpretation and application of consent in shared authority matters. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class